a quote one time from Vincent van Gogh that really rang true. He said, he has dedicated his life to his art and he has lost his mind in the process. When I sat and I thought about that, it sounded very familiar. I have given every single thing, every ounce of my life to this craft, to perfecting my craft, and I continue to do so. And in the process, I have lost my mind to regular society, to people who wake up at 9 a.m., who clock out at 5 p.m. They would look at me and say, I've lost my mind, but me, I have found it almost. My name is Conor McGregor. I'm a professional MMA fighter. My dream is to be world lightweight champion in the UFC, have more money than I know what to deal with, and have a great life for my, my kids, my grandkids, everyone in my, in my family, everyone that's, that's come up with me. That's my dream. My dream is to be number one. Most young men, why they got into martial arts was to defend themselves. I started off really being into football. That was what my first dreams were, you know, being a football player. And how good you were at playing football and how good you were at fighting, you know, they, they were the two things where I grew up. And then maybe as I start going outside my little estate and all, conflicts start happening, and I mean, I had to kind of think to myself, right, I need to be able to defend myself now as well. Not even to get back at anyone around, just, just to kind of be like, all right, this guy knows what he's at, just leave him alone. Now that's it, I don't know, I don't know why I'm doing it, other than that really, now I'm obsessed. I was working in the plumbing business at, at, at the time, yeah, but um, it, was, it would have been around that time that John um, Nasty I, I left the plumbing business. How bad was that? The plumbing? Yeah. Horrendous. It was just a horrible, horrible time, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to deal with this, and then I just left, and then I just stopped going, didn't get out of bed. And my dad would come in and try and bait me out of bed, and we'd have fights, and literally, for, for a good while, I never spoke. I didn't really speak to my dad. We just kind of stayed away from each other. Anytime, I, anytime I'd come across my dad, I just, anytime we did speak was, fight, was to fight. Then, Why did he get to that point, to where he was that bad? Because I was, doing, I was doing absolutely nothing. I was out getting into trouble. Yeah, it basically felt like I was doing fuck all. I was a waster, you know what I mean? I was a waster. Got that, called that a lot, you know what I mean? The real stress and the real fights, come from the mortgage, come from this stress of home. A lot of people are getting evicted from their homes around here. So that's something that I grew up with. That was a big stress in my family. It caused a lot of stress, so I just wanted to give it back and help out and just do that. And just... My mother and father are still young. Now they, now they have their feet up, they can relax, they can... They are in a new place, so it's good. That's, that's something I always dreamed of. I always, I always visualize what giving would feel like given to people who have given to me, what that would feel like. I always dreamed of just showing up one day and be like, here. I always visualized good things. I always visualized victory, success, abundance. I visualized it all and it's all happening. If you have a clear picture in your head of something that's, is gonna happen, a, a clear belief in that it will happen no matter what, then no, nothing can stop it, you know what I mean? It is destined to happen and that, that's, what, that's what happens. You know what I mean? It's, it's perfect. Fighting myself, you know what I mean? Because you are fighting yourself. There is no, there is no opponent. You know what I mean? It's, it's you versus you, and I'd say I'm fighting myself in there. And I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna beat myself. Not even martial arts. Life, you know what I mean? It's always you versus you. If you compete, if you're competing against other people, you know what I mean? Competing against others, and you're gonna become bitter. Eventually, you'll become bitter. But if you compete against yourself, you'll become better. There are no restrictions, there are no limits. There's no one trying to get something from me or trying to make me do this or make me do that or send me here or send me there or stop me from going full. I'm free, I can win and do as I please. This is my time now. So it's a beautiful experience and it's almost an out of body experience and it becomes very, very addictive. So that's what you're seeing here. I'm, I'm addicted to that feeling and I will do anything to get in there and get that feeling again. I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If, if we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any, anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, 
that belief is is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. If you're doing something and you're not in, interested or you have no passion for it, you you really you should truly follow your passion. So, I'm not doing this for this. I'm not doing this for fake acting and pretending I can. You know what I mean? Trying to give emotion to some guy that wants emotion from me for a shot. I can't do that. I don't do this for that. But I understand that it's a double-edged sword and you must do that. I do it for the competition, to step foot inside that octagon, to have that feeling of freedom. So that is why I say I don't feel pressure in there. I do not. I feel free in there. It sounds like you were the last person that would ever give an excuse for you lost. No, no, there is no excuse, you know what I mean? It's I, I, like I've been beat before, you know what I mean? I've lost MMA fights, I've lost boxing fights, I've lost so many fights in the gym, you know, I lose all the time, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. If you, uh, any true martial artist will know, in order to succeed at this game, you must lose a fucking shitload of times, you know what I mean? You must lose many times, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. We all have our, we all, we all have the same emotions. We have all won and we have all lost. It's a sport, it is what it is, you know, just get on with it, look to learn, look to learn from it, you know, the day you stop trying to learn is the day you start losing, you know what I mean, so, I'm always going to learn regardless of what, regardless of the result, you know what I mean, win or lose, I will take something from it all, and you know, you know the way people say, you learn, you learn more from your losses and things like that. that, that is true, you learn a lot from your losses, but as well as that, you learn from your wins, people, people can say, let's say you, let's say you beat a guy, then you're at the beating that guy. You're, you're a winner now. You know what I mean? You're a winner. So now I now I get to I take the foot off the pedal. I don't need to learn so much. I'm at the beating this guy. I'm a winner. You know what I mean? And that's gonna stop you. That can that can that can take over people, especially in this game. In in the when you're signed to the UFC and there's all media things going on and there's people looking for pictures and shit. That can take over. That can make you feel like you're bigger than you are. You know what I mean? That happens to guys. You ever see guys that? I I, I see guys all the time coming in that are around this company since day one. Their performances just stay the same. They stagnate. Their performances stagnate. Then they get even worse. You know, they they, they arrive on, on, on for the fight out of shape, not looking in shape, barely made weight, sluggish. You know what I mean? That's not gonna be me. I stay ready. I'm always in shape. You know what I mean? You're not gonna catch me out of shape. Win or lose, I'm gonna be ready to go. I'm no ego. You know, you can't have an ego in this game. We've all won. We've all lost. It is what it is. Just keep going, keep doing the thing, keep working hard. I'm a cocky motherfucker, but if you come in and you get me, if you come in and you get me, I'll stand before you, I'll stand before everyone and say, you got me. I'll get you next time. And that's it. Every human being, everyone in here at some stage, we face loss. We've all lost something. You know, yeah, we all know how, how a loser on the night feels because we have all lost at one point or other in our lives. You need to stop putting your hand out. Everyone's hand out. Everyone thinks, everyone wants things for free. Or everyone, you know what I'm saying? You've got to put in the work. You've got to grind. You've got to, you've got to go through the struggle. And you've got to get it. If you deserve it, go get it. You know, don't complain. Don't cry. Get the fucking work and go get it. I've been listening to laughter all my career. I've been listening to them laugh my whole career. They've been laughing. What? An Irish man win a, win a Cage Warriors world title? Hell no. You serious? An Irish man? An Irish man win a fight in the UFC? Hell no. Laugh. Laughs all around. An Irish, okay, he got to win. Now he wants to win a world title? Hell no, he's all talk. He's all hype. He's a joke. Laughter all around at the Joker. Then the Joker goes and wins the world title. Now he wants to win a second world title. More laughter. Listen, the sound of laughter and the sound of doubt motivates me, so. I'm, I'm enjoying that. I seek that. I don't feel no doubt. Or I don't feel no. I don't feel that going to fight in any of these other UFC bombs right now. They need to rise up. Right now they're, they're down there. I've got this situation where people are truly doubting me, like they doubted me at the very, very beginning, and that's motivating for me. That's what's going to drive me to the gym when I need to go to the gym and to put in that work to get that win. Stripping that all back to start your career man with a dream, um, you know, training in the gym day in, day out. If somebody said to you, you'll have or you'll be as successful as you are now, what have you had said back then? 
I believe you. That's what I would have said. <laughs> because I did believe. Yes. Yeah, I believed in it. I, I had very few people who told me that. I had a small, small, small group of people that would tell me something like that. Other than that, it was just me telling myself. Yep. So if someone came up to me and told me that all the way back then, I'd say you're I'm right. I was a waster. Got that call that a lot, you know what I mean? But like, and then and then when, when I start getting that focus and realizing, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this happen. And then now that has happened, I'm I'm, I'm making it happen. It's depressing times for a lot of people in Ireland. There's a lot of bad stuff going on in, in, in the country. A lot of people are struggling. Everybody's struggling. But now since, since them seeing me chase this dream, it's given them an energy and, and, I, and I see a new lease of life in them. And that alone spurs me on even more. So it's all just a perfect storm that is happening for me. And that is why I have this tunnel vision and that is why I'm willing to kill every single man in my path get that belt, you know what I mean, to, to secure the future, from my family's future, you know what I mean, that's, that's what I'm doing it for. Well, I'm doing it, I'm doing it because for the love of movement, and I'm also doing it to secure my, because I recognise that it's, it's, it will secure my family's future, so why not, why not take full advantage, something that I, I love can actually secure my family's future, and make us live a good life for the rest of our days, you know what I mean, and it's, it's not work, I don't work, I live. You know what I mean? I don't have a job, I just have a life. No matter what was going on, some deep situations, I always had the belief that I was going to get here. I was going to get to the UFC, I was going to get... Because I just knew, I just knew I was different. I know I'm different than these people. I'm enjoying the fruits of my hard work. Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse, so I am going to enjoy the benefits of this life. I am going to get myself a big mansion in Las Vegas. I am going to get the soft top cars. I am going to bring my whole team out. I am going to spoil them and give them this life. We're eating good, we're living good. It's, it's human nature. Some people will sit and take positivity from that. They will look at that and, and take inspiration and inspire. It will inspire them to go and push forward that others will shell up and critique it and, and, and be negative towards it. But one thing is for sure, those people will stay where they are. The people who take inspiration from it will rise up and, and also one day experience that life. So this is this is human nature. Some go one way, some go the other way. But I am I am enjoying my money, my hard-earned money that I that I have dedicated my life to. I can be a product of my environment, you know what I mean? If I'm in with the wrong crowd, I just kind of become wherever, you know what I mean? So that's why I like to be isolated. And that's why this is, has helped me coming out here and being locked in an apartment on my own, building back up my leg, going from rehab to home to rehab to home, because there was no outsiders. It was isolation, it was visualization, it was motivation, and it was dedication. There was no nothing else going on in my life, you know what I mean? To get to the pinnacle, it needs to be like that. It needs to be no outsiders. It needs to be, you need to have your team and and your focus and that's it. I don't need friends that aren't involved in this game or that, or that aren't on the same path, you know what I mean? Because it's just, not, it doesn't make sense. I know, nobody can tell me that I, I move the same as any of these guys because I don't move the same. I move differently, I move unique and I know I move unique. Not only that, I speak unique, I act unique. I'm just different than these people, you know what I mean? So you dress I'm, unique. I, I dress unique, whatever, whatever. I just feel different to these on another level on another playing field than any of them before me. That's why I know I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm the great that I will be the greatest of all time. But in my in my head already I am better than everybody and I know I know you know there's a lot of hate come from come from come from people you know but I know and I, and I will prove you give me time and I will prove it to, to everybody. When you're chasing your dream and when you're when you're working hard chasing something you love and, and and completely dedicated, it just it just happens. You don't you don't you can't really no, notice it. You know, even still to this day, I'm in, a, in an amazing position in, in my life. But I'm still I'm still working like I'm not. I'm still working like I'm not in this position. Absolutely. I'm still working like none of this is even. It's just something I love to do, and I just keep pushing, and keep working hard. I can't pinpoint an exact moment for you, but if if anything, I always felt like it was happening way back then, and and now it is happening, but. Now I almost feel like it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I want to, I want to push to, to something else. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm always striving to push forward. No, I don't like thinking or... too far ahead. People set like goals, 
long distance goals and shit. That's too much for me. I already feel like I'm living it. And then I just carry on doing that, you know, carry on day by day, already living the final goal, the goal of being the world champion. I already carry myself like I'm a world champion. I already speak like I'm a world champion. And, and that's it, I just carry on day by day. So I'll take it as it comes. You know, hard work pays. I put in a hell of a lot of work all throughout this build-up in the fight. I pumped out more content than anybody, more content than Fox, more content than ESPN, more content than B uh, BT Sport, more content than everybody on the Mac Live on my own channels. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a fucking workhorse from all angles, not just in the gym. But I'm building this media empire now myself, and we pumped out the content. I'm very proud of how it went. We consistently, daily movies I was releasing, you know, from, from like a month ago, every single day. You know what I mean? Nobody's doing that. So I'm very proud of it and, and I'm very, like, the work pays, hard work pays and we put, I put in the work and that's, that's why I'm, I'm sitting at the top. I, I put it all on the line, I show up, I perform and I get the results from that, so. What do you think they'll say about you in 50 years? You know, I'm not quite sure what they'll say about me. I'm just a, they'll probably just say I'm a, I'm a young kid who showed up when he said he was going to show up. That's it. I, I, I cannot control what people say about me now or, 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 or in the future. But I certainly know what I am doing and the stuff that I have done and achieved will live on long after I am gone.